I want to thank everyone who came to this. This is a really big deal, and especially want to thank Father David, my pastor in St. John's in, in York, Elaine, his wife, of course, my wife, Frances, Lieutenant Governor Stack. Chris, thank you for being here, and of course, Kurt, thank you very much. This is such a great, great time of the year. Uh, the holidays overall bring many of life's best things. It's time to be with family. It's time for hope. It's time to make big wishes. I'd like to wish for a budget, if that's all right. And for those who celebrate Christmas like me, it's time to gather around a really big tree. And that's what we're doing here today. And let me talk about this magnificent tree. And then, then I want to talk a little bit about Christmas around Pennsylvania. And then I want to talk about what I think Christmas means to all of us and to me. Let me start with the tree. This is really beautiful. Chris talked a little bit about this but it was donated by the Pennsylvania Christmas Tree Growers Association, the staff here in front, in front of us. It is a, he already told you this, but it's a 22 foot high Douglas fir grown by the Crystal Spring Tree Farm, as you said, in Lehigh, in Pennsylvania. That's Carbon County. We believe that the idea of the Christmas tree began with German Lutherans in the 17th century and spread to Pennsylvania around 1820 uh, after Lutherans from Germany started to immigrate to this area. Since then, the Christmas tree has been a key part of the Christmas celebration across the country. And it's certainly a big deal around Pennsylvania, as Chris said. Here are some of the many places Christmas has a special place in Pennsylvania. There's ice skating at the PPG place in Pittsburgh or at Dilworth Park in Philadelphia. There's the light show in the Wanamaker, Oregon at Macy's in Philadelphia. There's the shopping at Chris Kindlemark in uh, Mifflinburg. Did I can pronounce that? Chris Kindle, Chris Kindle Market. There's all, there are decorations at Candy Lane in Hershey Park and Longwood Gardens in Kennett Square. Of course, the downtown decorations in Bethlehem, the old-time Christmas in Jim Thorpe, and of course, who of us doesn't watch It's a Wonderful Life every year at Christmas with Jimmy Stewart, who is from Pennsylvania, or he was from Pennsylvania. And this tree reminds us all of the different ways Pennsylvanians celebrate Christmas throughout the state. Finally, it also reminds us of what Christmas means to so many Pennsylvanians. It is, after all, a quiet, this tree, a quiet and elegant symbol of the season. It evokes the values that are central to our lives and it reminds us of the things that are best about the human condition. It reflects the joy and happiness of this time of the year. And it makes us think about life and renewal at a time when the world is sort of dark and somber in so many ways. But it reminds us all of the good things in life, of families that gather together, of generous spirits, of precious memories of the past, of hopes for the future, of wishes. It evokes in many ways the better angels of our nature. It encourages us to dream about what might be and what could be, what we might be. It makes us glad to be who we are. That's a lot to hang on a tree, and it's a lot to hang on a season. But that's what Christmas is all about, and that's what this tree is all about. So as I try to light, as along with Francis, as we try to light this tree, and also we're lighting the tree on the steps outside here and the tree in the Soldier's Grove, let's light the spirit of Christmas in our hearts and shine that light on our fellow human beings. Let's make the generous, humane qualities we celebrate at this time of year a part of everything we are, a part of everything we do throughout the year. Merry Christmas. Now, Francis, we have the tough part of lighting this tree. Thank you very much. Here we go. Five, four, three, Two, one.